recently there has been a sentence spreading around which is the west has fallen implying that first world countries and today's superpowers are nothing more than bad places to live in full of crime and instability and that cannot be more false when you hear this statement you have to keep in mind who is saying all this because the only people i've heard that the west has fallen from have been people who unironically have sexual assault charges against them in the countries they've spent most of their lives in so you think about that when you hear these people talk about the west failing i personally don't know anyone who's been in court for sexual assault charges do you yeah i doubt it so these people such as a bottom g saying he moved to romania because it's corrupt and he can commit more crimes there instead of the fallen western countries are literally proving that first world countries are amazing because the type of shit they do to people and the type of crimes they commit would not pass in any of the quote-unquote fallen western countries i can even pimp out sexually assault and traffic girls the west has fallen guys it's all over i'm lucky enough to actually go to these countries and see for myself so recently i went to paris and you hear a lot of the stuff from these idiots who moved to some eastern european country like romania how much better eastern europe is than first world countries that basically all first world countries are being burnt down the city smell like piss and the quote-unquote the west has fallen and you know what going to the west to myself i just do not think it has okay i just don't think it has i've heard a lot of stereotypes about western europe how it's full of just immigrants committing crime and fires homeless people and cities looking and smelling bad i had even heard that paris is a shithole and it smells bad so i unironically had low expectations while going to the armenian colony of france also if my voice sounds weird it's because a french woman coming from paris to georgia was a vaping on my whiz air flight while hiding her vape every time a stewardess passed by her I unironically love Wizz Air and think it's the best airline in the world. You get flights across the world for $40 and things like this. I have no idea how that is profitable for them. But business is a complicated thing that most of us simpletons struggle with. People in the US were celebrating woohoo market back. But nearly all of the growth is in just 7 tech stocks. And investing in the stock market can feel like aiming blindfolded. But even during 2022 with energy crises, invasions and inflation, some assets surged above their pre-pandemic value. It wasn't stocks, real estate, or a Logan Paul NFT. It was fine art pieces. And with our sponsors at Masterworks, we can invest in art to plan our futures and compete with the billionaires at their own game. Masterworks has already sold over $45 million of luxury art and distributed the net proceeds directly to investors like you. I'm on the platform myself. I haven't invested yet, but Masterworks platform has returned 17.8, 21.5, and even 35% to investors net of fees. Of course, as with any investment, past performance is not a guarantee of future returns and is not representative of artwork that has not yet sold. And with 750,000 plus members, it's no surprise that Masterworks offerings can sometimes sell in minutes and there's a waitlist to join. But you can get special access to skip their waitlist at the link in the description. You can see important disclosures at masterworks.com cd. I was amazed at how good Western Europe is and I'm not even trying for a visa right now i don't need a visa i at least have the privilege since fucking canada has not even started reviewing my visa application even though i submitted it two months ago true though paris is an insanely beautiful city and the things these idiots like top my g-spot tell you are just not true these people literally shit on western european countries like germany spain and france because they could not be as corrupt as they wanted in western europe so they just moved to romania where they're more liberal with corruption these people talk so much shit about first world countries like your children will get molested by the lgbt people there and they make it seem like european cities are just a fall of immigrants just running around committing crime but like brother that is just not true whenever you get the chance i suggest you guys travel to one of these major cities in the first world and see for yourself i went to paris expecting a shithole that smells like piss has dirty streets and i have to look out for crime and i got a beautiful safe city where people from all over the world live in harmony. Paris is full of people from every part of the globe and every country and it was so amazing and refreshing to see people from all over the globe living together because while these people try to convince you that these immigrants are out here literally being syndrome from the Incredibles, what I saw with my own eyes was vastly different. It's literally just people from every country living together. I knew the shit that these Andrew Cake people were saying was not true but I still wanted to see for myself and erase all doubts and it did. The only 
only crime I saw committed in Paris was the public transport Navigo pass system being this bullshit. But that's literally it. I literally think most of the hate of these major Western European cities come from people not being able to afford to live in them, which is very fair. A lot of these cities are very expensive, but that doesn't mean people should spread lies about these places and that they smell like piss, have dirty streets and crime. My city Tbilisi is regarded as one of the safest cities in the world and I felt as safe in Paris as I do here. Some people might say that I didn't go to the hoods of Paris and that's why I thought it was safe, but what the fuck would I go to any hood unless I'm forced to live there? Every hood and bad neighborhood is dangerous and unsafe. I grew up in the hood in my city as well and it was dangerous compared to the other parts of the city. Everyone knows that hoods are dangerous. It's like saying Chicago is a horrible city just because you went to O Block and you ignore the main part of Chicago. Oh bro, Italy is such a shit country, I went to bumfuck nowhere random village Sicily and it smelled bad there. The West has fallen guys and like the reason for the sentiment of the West has fallen is so bad, it's funny. Most of the people who share this sentiment bring up reasons such as England is not homogenous, therefore it's a shithole. Mongolia is better, I love Mongolia. Did you know Ulaanbaatar is the most polluted city in the world? Wow. wow! I'm sure the people having to live there are so happy when they were born in Ulaanbaatar and not in the failed, fallen, shitty city of Paris that smells bad and is full of crime. Wow. wow! Or Andrew Cake bringing up the reason that a woman can falsely accuse you of sexual assault and then you go to jail in first world countries. First of all, I want to know when the fuck that actually happens in reality. I've been having a dick for over 21 years of my life. I've met a lot of people online and offline and I still do not know anyone who's gotten falsely accused of sexual assault or generally accused of sexual assault. What kind of life are you living where false sexual assault accusations are so common in your life and so important to you that you pack your shit and move to Romania from your first world country? People go their whole lives not even thinking about false sexual assaults because most people don't get accused of anything ever. And it's so important to this dude, he packed his shit and left to Bucharest. You can't even make it up that like, oh yeah, because I'm a celebrity, they'll falsely accuse me. Uh, Mutahar is a celebrity. Fucking Critical is a celebrity. They are very famous. They never had accusations like that. And then, as we found out, literally video and audio proof, the accusations were not false at all. And these people are spreading this myth of the Western world has fallen. I swear, all this internet propaganda makes these first world countries sound like they're j just Somalia that looks cool. And most of the time, it's literally racism and the best case for for that has been the French protests. The latest French protests have mostly been African people protesting and when the African people protested, people on Twitter lost their shit. They were literally being called racial slurs and this is what immigration does to your country. France is ruined now. Just two weeks before those protests, France had another protest but this time everyone was rioting regardless of race and that time it was haha good old French always protesting stuff. So why is it a France is ruined now moment when there's black people doing it? I'm from Georgia, which is like 90% Caucasian, maybe 95. Being told that my country is good because there are no black people here, and then I go to the supposedly failed country of France, and it's beautiful, a superpower, the population is growing, and it's many different people living together in harmony. I did not see a single interaction that could be deemed as hostile while being in France, and all the stereotypes about French people being assholes were untrue as well. Or the fact that you need to speak French to get around. I would go up to someone saying, I'm glad they would reply little bit and then speak the most fluent English I had ever heard in my life like god damn you know that also points to people being educated because French people do not have to know English French is one of the biggest languages in the world it's not like only a few million people speak the language and they need to know a second language and if the French wanted they could just say screw this English mumbo jumbo and just refuse to learn it but no the country has great education on top of being beautiful and you people try to convince me France is bad because it has black people I'm tired I'm never taking advice from the internet again. I don't know, man. I just find it extremely weird how some people from the first world, mostly creeps to be honest, say that, oh yeah, these third world countries are better because of insert idiotic reason here. Like even the most racist person from the third world would not care if they lived in a first world country around all other races because they would get the benefits of a vastly better life. And these people are out here saying stuff like Mongolia is better because it's homogenous. Okay, bro, go tell a Mongol who in a hospital because his city is so full of fucking air pollution he needs medical care that i'm sure he will agree with you on that <coughs> 
at least we don't have immigrants here. And it's so easy to fall down this rabbit hole of a person from the first roll thinking that Belarus or some shit is like Wakanda just because they got beautiful women. But that's not the case. Once people actually go there, they notice, okay, wow, this is like dog shit. You know what? Maybe Cali ain't so bad. I don't know, man. This whole movement has done so much damage to people worldwide, twisting their ideas and making them think that these random people on the internet who may or may not have committed sex crimes but have been persecuted for them are telling them the truth. It's spread like poison like Future's Dirty Sprite 2 album cover. And I'm not afraid to admit it, but I have been one of those few people who thought the West has failed and thought the first world countries are full of bullshit. Because a lot of times it's just propaganda you see on the internet and believe it's correct. And I was none the wiser. I was very lucky to step foot in Paris on my own and vibe check the whole place and think, oh yeah, wow, this is very good. Me and Roman also talked about this. He was going to Berlin with the same ideas because we are both post-Soviet and have grown up and seen only commie blocks and corrupt politicians for all our lives. And of course, the internet telling us that Germany and France have failed as countries and both of them are basically greater Somalia now. But he went to Berlin, saw that was not the case and the people were just capping. I went to Paris and saw that wow, these people are lying and just pushing dumbass propaganda on people. It's like seeing the protests in Georgia where I also was with flipped cop cars and molotovs in the parliament building and being like, oh wow, Georgia is an insanely dangerous place. Look, they have police cars on fire there. I am going to put penis in my mouth. And ignoring the fact that the city where this was happening is one of the safest cities on the planet and the rest of the country is even safer. So yeah, you can't really assume that a country is like this or like that when they have a few protests where they burn shit down. Especially the French protests, which were clearly hated on because the people protesting were Africans. Because the French protests didn't burn things when the president raised the retirement age by like two years. And the people were like, haha, oh man, the French are back at it again, always protesting. And then when a cop kills a 17 year old African kid, gets 1.5 million euros in donations for it. And the Africans protest for clearly a better reason, then suddenly France is a third world country overrun by immigrants who should all be deported. There is clearly a bias here. I was there in France, boots on the ground, dick out, talking to French people in English. And all of them were extremely nice. The city looked absolutely amazing and I felt pretty safe, didn't get robbed, didn't get burnt, didn't get my fade ran. The biggest crime that happened to me in France was turns out the Navigo pass system is fucking ass and I got locked out of a fucking train station and had to pay 18 euros for a 14 minute taxi ride. That's the biggest crime that happened to me in France and I used Bolt too. If I stopped a random taxi and asked them to take me there, they would have told me 30 euros. I got off the bus from the airport and asked a random French taxi driver how much he would take me for there and he said 30 euros for like a 12 minute drive. I thought, okay, bro, who who do you think you are? Fucking Napoleon? I grinned a bit, started walking away. He said 20 euros. And then Bolt came in with like 10. So I got the cheapest option I could, but taxi prices will still rob you in France, just so you guys know. All I want you guys to realize is that propaganda is absolutely rampant throughout the internet and people wanting to believe you that certain countries are bad and certain countries are good are mostly BS and I suggest you all make up your mind with your own experiences and not really rely on people who've been in court for sex crimes. Personally, I know Russia is a shithole because 1. I bordered them, 2. I know Russians who escaped their corrupt regime to come here, 3. They invaded me in fucking 2008, 4. Every single one of Russia's neighbors hate Russia because of their imperialism. So boots on the ground again. It's only logical that I think Russia is a shithole. Don't believe me? Ask Russians themselves. This man Dostoevsky has been trying to tell y'all since the 1800s how shit the place is and it took a war in Ukraine for the rest of the world to realize that. And now I know that France is an amazing beautiful first world country. One of those countries where most people in the world would not mind moving to or living in. Boots on the ground guys. Boots on the ground. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe and goodbye huge thanks for watching <laughs>